Welcome to the Sky Vision Mirror's Edge. So yeah, it's a sort of platform uh, like parkour game and I'm gonna start from chapter one. I will skip the first cutscene, but it's just basically Faith free running into the sea. The reason why I'm gonna skip it is because it takes a while and uh, yeah. Also you'll notice a resolution, but you'll, you'll have to deal with it. I'm trying to somehow stop that. But yeah, this game is a sort of parkour game. The story, but backstory is that Faith, um, is a runner in a society field with um, a group of green and white crap where the justice system is kind of, yeah. Uh, and Faith basically is a revolutionary, not a free runner, but basically she does tasks and stuff. Now Faith, what she does is she just gets stuff from clients and stuff to send to the other person. She just, so she's basically delivery, but they run, they like run on rooftops and things like that, which is really cool. And uh, this is the first person free runner game, which is the only one real one of its kind that does it extremely well, as Mirror's Edge does. I really like its first person. I wish there was a sequel. It's not perfect, but it's a bit underrated in my opinion. Not a lot of people play it, and I wish more people did. Now, the, the loan screens are long, so uh, we'll see. It. We'll, I'll, I'll get back to you once they freaking stop loading. Basically, I've got to just basically free run. And you can do sorts of stuff. Oh yeah, the controls work a little different. I can't remember all the controls, but um, basic ones, space were in, in this, or left bumper, or L1 on the consoles, depending on which console you got, is up. And then L2, left trigger, shift, is down. So it's a little different than just jump and crouch, because it could be any up or down notion. Which is really nice, they try to simplify the controls because, you know, a parkour can be pretty difficult. So up actions would be stuff like wall running, jumping... Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, jumping, rolling and climbing and stuff like that. And then shift be climbing down, um, crouching and... Oh crap! Yeah, I didn't... I, I missed that. I usually don't miss that. I'm playing in a really low resolution, that's why, so... Just get just used to it on Faith, but uh, there you go. But yeah, you just make, you can free run. It's pretty cool. You really get the sense of um, free running and stuff, and obviously you climb this. So yeah, just remember you don't so you don't have to use like use gear or anything like that for stuff. Oh yeah, and also left click or the uh, right trigger or R R. Is it R two? I'm not too sure consoles whether or whether they swap them on the PS3 rather. I know the 360, but I'm not sure if it swaps on PS3 or not. But Someone can um, tell me if, if not, but that's uh, your attack button. I believe right bumper and R1 would be like your defense type button. And here you go, there's some enemies. But you don't have to attack enemies a lot of the time. In fact, a lot of time you shouldn't, in my opinion. You should just try and uh, dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you'll need your attack button a lot though, because you need to use it to get dots. It's just simpler than using a use button, for instance. But sometimes you want to use your use button, which is obviously E and. That stuff, uh... I would be sign of reaction time. It basically slows down everything, and you get reaction time by running. Oh yeah, if you notice, some things are red. It's runner vision. Basically, this is a, sort of like a path for Faith to travel along. So, if, you know, you've got a main path, it's sort of guide to, to a path. It's re it'll be recommended to go on these. And if they're glowing red, that means you have to... You can't really avoid them, so really, you're just gonna try and run away. Like this. And just... just get away as far as you can, and just keep running, whatever you do. Oh, I skipped cutscenes. Sorry about that. Um, basically, what you missed, as far as I'm aware, is that Celeste, um, you, you gave your package to Celeste. Sorry for skipping the cutscene. I, was, I got too carried away with the space bar. I forgot that cutscenes are first person as well. But yeah, you just gave a package to Celeste, who is also a runner. And here we go. And this is pretty much the end of the first mission. Which I'm not skipping this cutscene. Yep. And there we go. And of course I've got these flash style cutscenes, and of course the infamous loan screens, which piss me off because they take forever. And there we go, we're back in the main menu. Apparently after each chapter, you kind of finish that. Uh, huh, strange. Oh well, you won't get to see a cutscene, but, uh, because I'm obviously playing chapter. But let's try a race. I don't know how, how long I'm going to do, but let's let's try. I haven't tried a race in a while. I can race friends. Oh yeah, I also got a DLC as well, so that's pretty 
pretty nice. The DLC for the game is actually quite nice, but let's start with Playground 1. We shall start the race, and I don't think I'll be able to beat the time that I already have. Basically, your, your goal is to try and beat the race as fast as you can, get through all the checkpoints. Of course, you have a corner to throw out, and you get more of a HUD, because in, in Mirror's Edge, you don't actually get much of a HUD. Or you can be used for volume as well. You can basically be used for any up motion in the um, space bar. And your goal is to try and... Uh, I know where to go. If you don't know where to go, you, yeah, hold ALT, and that's where you're, or wire in the controller, and that's where you gotta look. Well, yeah. So that was, um, that was great. <laughs> I'm not really doing this game much justice as such, but basically, yeah, it's a story, and, it, and it's pretty cool. There's actually a deeper story as well up to it, but. You won't get to a bit later on. Yeah, let's try one of the DLC tracks. The DLC tracks look really nice, but they're not in cities, but they're more in like alternate dimensions, and that looks really nice. And there you go. See what I mean? He's actually run better as well. <laughs> so yeah, try and go as fast as you can, and you just go jump, and then make sure you roll when you can, and uh, just just go to the fastest way you can, really. Just uh, roll there, and of course we just speed run there. Oh yeah, Q is your 180 degree turn, so I'm actually going to restart the race because I completely forgot about the Q button. Hey, see, you don't get offline. That's not nice. And basically what Q does, yeah, if he was online, what Q does is, um, oh, Jesus. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to fail this race, okay? Well, Q does is 180 degrees, and what you can do is you run up a wall, you can... My god, this is a terrible time. I'm sorry guys, I'm not setting a good example, but... It's pretty cool. Oh, this part. And I fell. So, yeah. There we go. And of course I failed. I'm not doing well today, am I? When I start to record, I have to do terribly, don't I? Oh wow, I didn't actually do that. Oh yeah, if you jump and um, hold the crouch button in midair, then uh, you basically can sort of curl in the air, which is good for getting that little extra air. Yeah, I'm really not doing well today. Oh. You can see I, 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 I did terribly, I'm not doing so well. But yeah, doing that so far did. Let me give you an example. I'll just not race, okay? I I've given up the race, okay? Let me just give you an example of what I mean. Like that. Except I didn't, I didn't roll. You have to, like, let go and then roll, basically. And there we go. Of course, And of course, everything's red to show you where the hell you're supposed to go. Yay! So yeah, we did, uh... Well... But yeah guys, that's Mirror's Edge in a nutshell. A sort of first person parkour game, or first person platformer, and it's really different compared to other games. I mean, it does try, it's made by DICE, the guy who made Battlefield, <laughs> who would have guessed? Or well, at least Battlefield 3, I'm not sure if they made the other ones. Like, I, I don't know Battlefield much, because I don't really pay attention to the series much, as much as other games. But yeah, they're the, that studio, and um, I definitely recommend getting this game. I think on Origin, I'm not sure how much, I think it's about 10 quid or so on Origin, or something like that. Or on Steam, it's a bit more. I don't know, well, you know, it's just logic, I guess. But, you know, I've actually got this for free on Origin because of some sort of deal or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But of course I bought the DLC because, you know, the DLC was pretty cool. So yeah guys, definitely get this game, but I shall leave you guys for now. So yeah, goodbye!